Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Our favorite Battlefield leaker is back with some more information, but this time he appears to have brought some receipts. Tom Henderson, formerly long sensation on YouTube, recently dug into plans for the game's supposed setting, campaign, and reveal in an online newsletter. Obviously, take all of this information with a grain of salt, but Henderson says it's been confirmed by multiple sources, and I hate to say it, but I'm actually inclined to agree here. Henderson says the game's official title is simply Battlefield, and it will take place around 10 years from now. This tracks with the other more believable leaks and provides developers with enough wiggle room to create compelling weapons and prototype tech. In fact, Henderson says the game will feature things like military robots and drones, etc. He also refutes the 4chan leaks, claiming the game will be a hub for previous Battlefield titles, which I also agree is bunk. Perhaps the most intriguing part of Henderson's leak is how he says Battlefield will handle the game's campaign. Now, I mentioned in previous videos, I'm not sure if we're going to see, like, a true Battlefield campaign this year. There's been no mention of it in any EA communication up to this point, which I did a video on that. I find that that is uh, distinctly odd. There's also the fact that Battlefield has been moving away from traditional campaigns now for a while, right? Both Battlefield 1, Battlefield 5, those featured war stories which often mimicked objective-based multiplayer gameplay. Henderson calls the campaign revolutionary and says that players will fight as part of a specialist unit that isn't necessarily loyal to the Axis or the Allies, as he puts it. In the world of the next Battlefield game, Henderson says the only factions are the USA and Russia, both of which will actually try to enlist your unit. So this is a pretty interesting take on this. It makes it sound like there's a bit of a bad company flair to this, and I really find that intriguing. I can see this being a bit of maybe an olive branch to those who really wanted Battlefield Bad Company 3, and especially if it's done right. Uh, we also kind of saw glimpses of this potential with Battlefield 5's company, and this seems like a logical extension of that. But I think most importantly, again, Henderson here is being specific with this. This is not something like some of his past leaks where it's kind of open to interpretation, uh, where it's really vague. This is specific, so uh, I don't know about you, but I'm taking this with a, a, a little bit more weight. Henderson also says the campaign will be a cooperative experience, and exactly what he means by that isn't really clear, but I'm always up for playing a single-player experience with a buddy. DICE also has been working on a great deal of AI stuff over the last couple of years, and this would really be a nice, uh, solid showcase for that tech. So, uh, again, intriguing. As for multiplayer, Henderson describes it as Battlefield 3 and 4 on steroids, and I'm sure that's music to many players' ears. I'm curious to see how DICE integrates the aforementioned drones and robots, if that's true, but uh, again, many players going to be very happy to hear some of their favorite games mentioned, and let's not forget that EA promised that this next Battlefield game would be a love letter to fans, so again, this really tracks for me. Henderson also provided more details on that rumored Battle Royale experience. He says it won't be connected to the Firestorm name, for obvious reasons, but interestingly, he says players will still be able to play as the four different classes of soldiers familiar to Battlefield players, right? So, uh, Medic, Scout, Engineer, Assault, depending on how they work that out, but instead of just having unique gadgets, they'll also have different abilities, so similar to Call of Duty's perks. This actually makes a whole lot of sense for Battlefield and playing to its strengths as a squad-based game. This also lets some kind of Battlefield Battle Royale really strike out on its own and try to create a more unique experience rather than Firestorm, which I feel like really tried to copy uh, a lot of the other Battle Royales out there. Uh, it's also easy to forget that we had a type of perk system already 
uh, introduced in Battlefield 1, so they do have a little bit of uh, experience with that. If Battlefield is going to give Battle Royale another go, this sounds like the way to do it, right? Hopefully they learn some lessons from Firestorm and can produce something solid out of the gate, independent of the main title, right? Let's not forget that Criterion recently got brought on board for the next Battlefield game. And lastly here, some exciting news for those of you waiting on a reveal. Henderson provided some details on that reveal trailer we are all so desperate for. He says it will not feature any gameplay or multiplayer and will be somewhat similar to the beginning of the Battlefield 5 reveal trailer. Now that might be a little bit of a turnoff for you, but uh, I don't find that particularly shocking, right? Neither Battlefield 3 uh, or 4 really showcased any true gameplay footage in their reveals. Uh, neither did Battlefield 1 either, right? This was all cutscenes and scripted in-engine events. Very common to see that uh, at this point. And again, probably not going to dampen our excitement too much when we actually get to see it. Now, I stress all of this is unconfirmed, but again, unlike Henderson's past leaks, he actually goes into some pretty specific detail here and really seems to kind of commit to this idea. Uh, his info also makes a lot of sense to me, so as a result, I'm going to treat that a little bit differently than past leaks. It's one of the challenging things about leaks in video games that uh, somebody can be totally off the mark on one thing and then dead on the next. So uh, again, giving benefit of the doubt here. I know that some of you are annoyed that I cover supposed leaks like this, but I do think it is important to take a critical look at them and gauge whether or not they have merit, right? Uh, if you're not interested in finding out about leaks, that kind of stuff, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I'll, I'll warn you that, uh, you know, if I'm going to be talking about a leak or something like that, that is speculative. Maybe those videos uh, aren't necessarily for you, but with this one, my gut feeling, this is probably the most uh, legitimate one that we've seen so far. That's just my my gut feeling on that. So, uh, you know, I, I've been right in the past on this sort of stuff, so I'm going to really just stick with my gut feeling on this. Make sure you tell me what you think down below in the comments. Do you think that uh, Henderson's leak here is real? Or do you think it's uh, absolute bunk? Let me know. I'll leave a link to Henderson's original post in the video description so you can check that out for yourself. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, if not a dislike. Hit that subscribe button, tap the bell to get updates on all of the latest Battlefield news. Right. I'm going to continue to cover this franchise going forward. I am a Battlefield fan at heart. That's not going to change anytime soon. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for all that. We'd really appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.